Well, let's talk about how to get off the grid. First, you got to be able to cut your own firewood. Be good to have a little MIG welder and know how to use it. Build your own wood stove. Build your own chairs. Build your own table. Build your own wooden art. Build your own iron art. That's Gear Clouds over Iron Mountain. For all of you who have never seen it. Um, maybe get a, uh, you see the old saw there? Crosscut, six foot six, or six foot long. Uh, you might want to get an old scrubby machine like this. This is a real dinosaur, this one. It's a good runner. Um, you're going to learn to want to turn tools. You might want an air compressor. It would be preferable if you could uh, get it to run off water or something, but this is a Honda, so it's a modded. You might want to get a hold of an old grinder, you know, like this one with the foot power. You've probably seen my it operate foot power, right? It's a you see the action mechanism there. Foot power. Same like the uh, I sort of left out the treadle sewing machine. It's kind of buried behind there, but there's a treadle underneath there. And uh, it's good to be able to sew your own hats and mitts. Make a shirt or a pa pair of pants or a jacket. Um, this one I manufactured in high school. It's a hand-operated winch, and it'll pull 20,000 pounds. Here's the ramps for the snowblower, another handmade, uh, you know, maybe take a lesson. If, uh, you know, there's one of the iron tables. This one used to be in the Holy Smoke. That's a nice table, actually. And uh, these are the windows that came out of the back of the station wagon. So, you know, um, the Volvo, high-class ones. And my saw blade awnings, as I refer to them, the sawnings. Uh, those are from the mill. And I use saw blades because I refer to this place as Edge City, and I'm a cutter. Um, I stock as much as 60 cords every season and I'd like to get to where I'm stocking 100, 150 cords and uh, you know really giving it shit but um, let's see what else can I tell you about living off the grid you can uh, post your claim on your flag if you want if you know how to fly it sun, as long as the sun shines and the water flows and the wind blows and the green grass grows, and my people occupy the land, we will always be Her Majesty's ally. The Royal Proclamation of 1763. You'll probably notice the sunshine is on the top of my flag, not on the bottom. Yeah. Well, I've chosen to be Her Majesty's ally. And you can too. If you figure out how to present the document. Granddad's old boat. You know, good idea to have a rowboat and a fishing rod. Be a good idea to learn to split and cut wood, you know. Learn to grow a garden. Um, you know, I, um, I that's a handmade handmade scythe that's up there for cutting grass. Um, you know, I'm known to uh, like implements like this. This is the uh, hemlock wooden hammer. This thing's a bruiser. Like, if you were to pop somebody in the skull with this thing, it would make that neat pock sound like when you break a block of wood. I'm not going to deny it. I'd probably love to hear it, but... <laughs> I'm a bit of a bastard that way. You know, um... There's one of my dog's heads there mounted for the truck. Everybody loves that. They get a kick out of it. It's good to build your truck. You know, I did all of the, uh... Tires, brakes, uh... Shocks, springs, fenders, cab patches, built the deck. So, you know, I create my sovereign world. And that's one of the bigger parts of being a free man or a natural person would be, you know, maybe make leather clothing. Can you make moccasins? Can you uh, make a set of snowshoes? Before I was six years old, I could lay snowshoes. And I still can to this day. I haven't for quite a while. There's the uh, five-element radio antenna that I built. Basically, I'm... Uh, I guess you'd call it a maker, is what my, my buddy Paul refers to me as. He's like, dude, you build everything. And I said, well, you have to. Because the junk that you can buy in the world doesn't impress me, you know? Um, so I have to make things that stand up, and, you know, I like to recycle. The whole building used to be tarps previously, but the landlord thought it looked ugly, and he wanted me to get a trailer, and I said, well, if you buy it, no. <laughs> I always try to get a little entertainment in there too. So anyway, I ended up buying 3.8 OSB, which is now rotting in the bottom after a couple years, but hey, 
I really don't care. That doesn't hurt my feelings. Uh, I preferred the tarps because it breathed more. I like my fresh air. That's why I run with the tin roof like it is. If I sealed that tin roof, it would... Uh, there's fumes that come off the stove and stuff like that. And you want a lot of fresh air. Maybe my lungs need a little bit of work. Hmm. Living around a wood stove is too much for some people. But, uh, you know, I built a little building. It's a temporary. It's with screws and not nails. That's uh, pretty important, you know, so you can unscrew it and tear it down. Because if it's nailed, they consider it a permanent dwelling. So, you know, learn to play. If you're going to play, you got to figure out what their game is and how they play. Uh, not a bad idea to have a set of uh, old climbing spurs. You know, those are about, uh, I don't know, shit, 1960 or something, 1950. They got copper and brass rivets in them. In, yeah, really nice oldies. Probably a fair idea to get a decent old chainsaw. That's an 064 with a 33-inch Canon 404 bar. I, um, the old brush cutter's a little bit nice too. That's an old 165, but. The uh, 064 in the stills, my favorite saw ever. I, I considered it a pinnacle. But anyway, I've got a 660, but I don't like it nearly as much as the old 064. I don't mind running one that looks like an old crate dinosaur. You might find that some of the old crate dinosaurs kick the ass out of some of that new plastic fucking junk that they make today. Um, there's a 24 horse twin cylinder welder sitting there, gas, an Onan. Um, I have a three and a half horse Honda out back with a Chev alternator attached to it. Um, so you know, that's a 12 volter and that thing runs. Like you put a couple, three cups of gas in it and the thing, I don't know, it might be a liter tank at best and it'll do two hours or better on it. It's, uh, that thing don't burn, it just, it self governs and uh, you just hook it up to the batteries and field it up once you got it spinning and away it goes charging with 63 amps. So that's a pretty potent little, uh, put out, you know, 63 amps, that's hefty, but anyway, I hear neighbors, here's the hot pipe for the saw, yeah, that's the one that makes it go ting, 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 real loud, what else could I tell you about the sovereign world, it's good to be a peerless roadrunner, you know what I mean, here's an oldie, you like the still thermometer, and when you look at it, on the bottom of it is like an old 56 or something, right? So that's like back around 1970, 75, you know? And there's the Edge City Ironworks sign. You know, make my own signs, make my own boat rack, right? All the iron and, you know, slab it together. And don't forget to shovel it off because you don't want to come home and the, the whole porch just collapsed. You know, it happened once. Anyway, this is, uh, what else can I tell you? Maybe you're going to have to lighten up and learn that uh, the dog could like some roadkill. You might have to learn to hunt. Maybe learn to skin an animal. Learn what it means to tan a hide. Um, I like to make wooden carved pipes, you know. They, uh, I sell the odd one of them now and then. If I drill them straight and don't ruin them. Uh, <laughs> there's my favorite iron mask. I have uh, a lot of fun being free. Like, I don't work for the corporation, and I'm not in the box of the taxation. Yeah, I don't, I don't contract with Her Majesty. No, don't want to. I do have a couple of uh, signatures in place here or there, but uh, they're not condemning me for it. They basically figure that I've got enough uh, paper knowledge that uh, I'm to be left alone now. Right? There's, there's not much point to try to contract with, and you can't force your contracts, or the uh, AG's going to rip you uh, a hole as big as a 16 inch tire probably but anyway we don't need to um, dig holes or plant bodies <laughs> oh fuck I always got something funny to say too funny I entertain myself well there's another one of the how-to's right you see that great big spatula there that's a piece of 516 or so rod welded to a big chunk of stainless that's all a little bendy on it didn't didn't dull the corners, you know. I try to make everything. I'd far rather. Oh, here's my protection stick. Okay, you see it's got a handle and it's a couple feet long. I even uh, let the attorney general know that I carry a stick in my yard because there's uh, been people who are threatening, etc. And so uh, I I feel the need to carry a stick. He seemed to be okay with that. Well, you know, you can do you can do some neat stuff if you uh, at least send a notice of what you're doing.